Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we review the most expensive house for sale in each state. And I'm going to fess up right now that this is not the most expensive house for sale in Arizona right now. Uh, it's th the third most, and the first two are brand new construction, so they are filled with creepy CGI furniture. And, you know, we're, we're not looking to critique the, the graphic designers that they hire to sell these stupid houses. Also, call me crazy, I don't think we need to be building new houses in Arizona. I don't think we need more people there. We don't have enough water for the people that are there. I think we need to be moving people out of Arizona. That's just me. Uh, and I especially don't think we need a $30 million house. Um, which is the, yeah, the, the most expensive were 32 and 36, uh, 30 million six. Uh, so unnecessary. Uh, you'll also point out in a drastic departure from the last two videos, this is way more expensive. We got over $24 million for only six bedrooms. That's I mean, that's not that big. Like, it's it's a big house, but is it is it twenty four million dollars big? I don't know. Also, uh, I'll warn you that looking at all of that CGI furniture has made me paranoid, and I am not entirely sure that this furniture is real. But I haven't found evidence that it's not. Anyway, uh, very I don't know square. What is this style? Is this modernist? Is that uh, this is a really large archway? I don't. I don't know. Anyway, let's, oh, this is, this is the zoomed out. So this is massive. I don't even, like, what are these structures even for? Is this a bell tower? Do you need a bell tower in your house? What is that too? That's an open archway. This is, I don't know what's in there. Anyway, um, it's all built into this desert. -y. I do appreciate there's no lawn. If they had put a lawn in here, I would be enraged. I would be feral. I'd just be barking into this microphone. Um, so they didn't do that. Points for that. Oh, oh no, they, they do have, <gasps> they do have, they've got a little, all right, that's, that's a smallish bit of lawn. Also a pool in there. Like I get that it's hot, so you want a pool, but also there's no water. So maybe don't have a pool. Oh, God. All right. The lawn. Whatever. All right. Let's 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 keep going. All right. It's an infinity pool, which is very bougie. And they got the... I, I like this two tiers of chairs that they like. They wanted the look of like the, the pool chairs in the pool because you've got this little ledge thing here. But also they're like, sometimes I don't want to get my feet wet. Um... All right, this, that fire is photoshopped, right? I think that fire is fake. I think they, why, why do you, why do you photoshop a fire? All right, I like these cactus. I wish the house wasn't next to it. I like those cactus. Cacti? All right. Um, another great cacti. I've, I got it right that time. Um, you're overlooking the little people. This is so that you feel like the supervillain on the hill. And another look at this. We got balconies. We got all sorts of stuff. Oh, wait, wait. There's there's a neighbor that's higher up than them. I bet that's that $30 million house. I bet you have to pay like an extra six to get up really, really high. All right. And the shot at night. All right, now we're on one of the balconies. These flower patterns, that's kind of nice. All right, nothing nothing blatantly offensive to me here. Let's keep going. Another shot of the balcony. I hate that lawn. I hate that it exists. It makes me angry. And from far away. All right, let's get inside. Let's get in the house any day now, really. Here we go. Front foyer. We've got the obligatory, you know, it's interesting because I, there's no like stairs here. So normally you'd have like a spiral staircase in the, in the foyer that's wrapped around this 
weird foyer table with things on it and then the chandelier over and they don't have the staircase but they still felt the need to put the the foyer table in there um got some gold themes going on here this i don't i don't know that i like the idea of just having a clear front door like my i've got windows on mine but i can like duck down and like peek to see if I actually wanted to open the door for that. Like, I'm sure they've got security. They probably got security. This is a $24 million house. This is one percenters who are afraid of the guillotine. And they should be. Okay. Moving on. Well, I will say, I will say, sorry, we're not moving on. We're moving back. I will say the, the floor tiles, kind of cool. They get points for those floor tiles. All right. Um, very open, very open space. Um, I know that this is really trendy to have the open space, but like, first of all, your kitchen's over here. Now, your kitchen, your dining room, and your living room all sound like a kitchen. When the dishwasher is running, it ruins all three spaces. Plus, plus the balcony. The balcony also sounds like a kitchen. That's, mm. all right, so there's that. The second is that you need a light over the sitting area. You need a light over the dining area. It's, it's weird to me to have two, like, elaborate, weird, modern, but different light fixtures hanging down. It's weird to me. Also an awful lot going on in this ceiling. I for. $24 million, I don't think I want to have all this, like, I want a nice ceiling. Not, like, industrial crap going on in the ceiling. The gold, mmm, tacky, the the knifed pillows. If anyone thinks that this looks good, uh, I, oh, I learned a zenial word uh, recently from, from a youth friend of mine. Uh, it's uh, chuggy. These knife, these these knife hand pillows where you you use your hand like a knife to make them do this weird shape. Those are chuggy, and it's a bad thing. I can't explain to you what it means, but I get the vibe. Um, all right, let's let's keep going. Here's another angle of this. Yeah, see, I like both of these fixtures by themselves but next to each other I'm like they're a, a little too similar a little too different you know oh and, and here we've got the cardinal sin the number one cardinal sin of rich people houses the tv over the fireplace which uh if you haven't watched previous videos I explained is because they want to pretend that they're the kind of people that sit around the fire and, you know, have pleasant conversations. They're not. They're not that kind of people. They sit around the television. Um, also that the fireplace, anytime you see a fireplace that's lit in one of these listings, that is photoshopped fire. Um, God forbid it should just be empty. All right, here we've got... Now I'm confused because this looks like... Oh, no, this is... All right, we're going we have to go back. We have to go back. All right, so those are those chairs at the island that separates the kitchen from the rest. So that's a long room. Maybe it's just the angle, but I don't know. They've got two of these light fixtures going on. Seems like a long room. And again, this this ceiling is so ugly like with all are these can lights in there or i mean the vents i i get okay whatever i feel like there was a way to do that that wasn't just like white and pockmarked with crap all right the, the marble's nice you know what i'll give them that we've got a second dining room so you know when you're cooking you don't have to decide which way you're going um, I, you know, I think it was a bold choice to have a bowl with no fruit in it on this table. This is a fruit-free household. All right. 
we've got the stove here, the sink here. That's a nice sink. I like that slidey thing. That's a nice feature. Um, I assume some of this, there's no buttons on these. How do you, is the, are the buttons inside? Is that a new thing? So it is definitely a thing in rich people houses that once you're a certain level of rich, the refrigerator should not be visible. The refrigerator should be camouflaged. It should look like a cabinet or a wall panel or a clot. Like the, the refrigerator is too plebeian. You can't let them know you eat. Um, I've not seen that before with dishwashers. These are the ovens. Maybe one of those is a toaster oven. It looks like these doors close to conceal that. They really don't want anyone to know that they eat. Um, all right, here we've got a separate room. Another very interesting light fixture. Your grand piano. Um, <laughs> this wine display. I think... I think that has got to be, like, the most blatant, like, performative wine storage. Because, I mean, A, you have chosen to literally put it on display rather than putting it in a wine cellar like a normal person so that everyone knows just how much wine you have. But more importantly, this is a terrible way to store wine. It's the light... The light is bad for it, being indirect sunlight. The heat, I mean, the reason you put it in the basement is because you, you're supposed to keep it cool. And you're in Arizona. Like, I know that the AC in this place is probably always set to, like, 60 degrees. Their electric bill is probably thousands of dollars. But still, direct sunlight in Arizona. See, the, does this... Does this tree look photo? Does this plant look photoshopped to you? Because I swear I've seen this Photoshop plant before. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. Those chairs could be photoshopped. You don't know. They're really good at it now. Going on. Again. All right. I'm digging these weird, wacko light fixtures in here. Got a little bar. More cool marble. Uh, this lady. I, I don't know what, what she's about, but okay. Books very close to the sink. I don't know why there's books there. Um, interesting choice. Maybe they're like mixology books. That would make sense. That would make sense to me. All right. You could maybe put them upright so that when water spills on the counter, they're not like, like just the bottoms get wet. I don't know. Just a thought. All right. This, this is an office for someone who is intentionally deranging their own mind. First of all, nothing <laughs> on this desk. This desk, there, there's no convenient way to hook this up to electricity. This is, oh, there's the a t another TV over the fireplace. This is so that you can pretend to work here, but instead you're watching TV. Someone's job is to watch TV. That's, and then just the long room and sitting it straight in the middle like this. Out of something, this, it's ominous. It's ominous vibes. It's bad vibes. Someone sits here and they watch Fox News and they go more insane every day. They're not well. All right. That's, that's all I've got to say about that. That could be photoshopped. I don't know, man. All right. This, it's, it's giving Russian doll for anyone that watched Russian doll and they've got like that creepy like portal to another dimension bathroom mirror. Like you definitely, you come in here to have an existential crisis. These weird wall textures and it's dark and it's long. Like you just, you walk up to that mirror and like, you know how when you've been drinking a little bit and you look in the bathroom mirror and you're like suddenly realize how drunk you are. You look in this mirror and you're like, oh my god, I've lost my mind. I'm unwell. That's that's where you have that realization. Um, 
like the, all of these these cracks in it have to be intentional. That's got to be a design choice. It, it's telling me your mind is cracked. There's there's cracks in your composure. I don't know. Like the lights though. Again, great choice of light fixtures. I assume that there's a toilet like right here, and so that you have to like gaze upon this ominous villain sink construction while you're, you know, trying to have a, a nice BM. Okay. Um, we don't have a TV over the fireplace. We do have a very nice piece of art. I don't know if that's good for it. Someone that knows things about art. I swear to God. I swear to God I've seen this plant photoshopped in other listings. But also, I, I feel like they wouldn't put this here on purpose. You know, this is a weird little detail. Um, the fire is definitely photoshopped. Um, you know what? I, I complain about the mini living rooms in the bedroom. I feel like it would be better if there was curtains on this one also. Like, I want to I wanna be able to, you know, just make it. Just make it two rooms. Just make it two rooms. The bedroom does not need to be that big. That's all. Also, it's like pre-balcony and then actual balcony, which is... There's... Anyway. Oh, oh, here it is. Here's the pre-bal... Oh, there's the TV. There's the TV. Can't have no TV in your room. Um, I have to assume that rich people watch just like an ungodly amount of TV which I'm not like super in a place to judge, but I, I feel like you, you, you know what? You should be laboring more for all of the money you have. I know you're not. I know you're not. Um, for once, not a huge fan of this light fixture. I don't know why. There's, it's, it's just not vibing with me personally. Oh, wow, this bathroom is... See, they always have these massive bathrooms, but I feel like it never gets, like, warm and cozy. Like, I, I guess the shower's fully sealed off, so you get warm and cozy in the shower. But the rest of this has to be, like, so cold all the time. Um, the mirror shape is kind of cool. The green's kind of cool. The marble... I don't know. It's a little bleak. I feel like I, I need a bathroom to not be so bleak. Um, this, you know what? They went pretty hard with the other lights fixtures. I feel like this is a little predictable. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. They didn't try that hard here. Um, let's carry on. Here we've got... A, an extra living room. Who knows where this is in the actual house. I'm not sure. That's just a full empty room that they didn't have enough stuff to put in. Um, maybe an exercise room. Who knows what. Uh, it just, it seems a bit in the middle, you know. It could be photoshopped. It could be photoshopped. Again, not great light fixtures. Again, like, they try to do something with the ceiling. They try to put, like, this detail in, but they're still just, like... Are these speakers? Do they have a sp do they have speakers in the ceiling throughout the house? I think that's got to be what those are. Um, I don't know. This room... This, this whole picture just gives me, like, we have so much space and so little personality to fill it with. Let's... All right, we're back outside. We're back outside on this atrocious, water-consuming lawn. At least most of this, you know, uh, landscaping seems to be actual desert plants, and there's no, like, water hog plants here that I can see. And there's... That's, that's the only reason they needed those chairs. They needed this picture right there. And you can tell by the presence of these ones that they don't actually like them. Alright. 
that's a long, that's such a long driveway. Like, I get that they need to keep away from the riffraff and that if they lived any closer to the street, they might see a poor or something. But, God, they have to just drive that long just to get literally anywhere that's not your house. Like, do they ever leave home? Because I would never leave home. All right. Um, this is what that's some sort of is that a row machine? Rowing machine? Some sort of exercise machine? It's got to be a rowing machine, right? I don't know. Oh, they've got a this is like a ballet studio kind of thing. We've got the dance bar. Um, that means that other room was not an exercise room. We've got another. Is this additional lawn? Do they have lawn up here and down here? Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting madder by the second. And four garage. Do they have to be gold? Is are is that yellow glass or are they gold? The, the gold is so tacky. It's just, yeah, I feel like. If you're that disgustingly wealthy, you have to tone it down a little and be like subtle about. Because if you if you're bragging about it, it's it to me it's just like guillotine me, guillotine me, do it. All right, and here's here's the whole thing from afar again, and the front again. Um, this is about what I would ex expect from Arizona. I mean, the, the style, the open spaces, it, you know, there's a lot of bringing the indoors out and the outdoors in, all of the wide open windows and balconies and all of that. Hate, hate that there's two lawns and a pool. Um, you know, this is, this is proof that you, you bought, you using a straw is not killing the planet. This person, who this is probably house number two, <laughs> they, they are killing the planet. Um, God. And, yeah, that's, it's, there's no soul to this. There's no personality. It's all just performative opulence. They, it's, it's, a it's wealth for the sake of appearing wealthy. And, eh, you know what, from what I know of Arizona's culture, this is what I would expect a, a rich person in Arizona to, to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, you know the drill, like, subscribe, uh, comment. Let me know if there's anything that you noticed that I missed or that you would like me to comment on more. Uh, would you like me to actually know anything about architecture? I could go on a Wikipedia binge. Who knows? Um, and have a good one.